And now, on Broadway, there's something blooming there. Maybe you've seen the Sculpture Project. This art installation is brightening one of Manhattan's busiest blocks. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has the story. A Broadway debut blossoms for sculptor John Isherwood along this famous street in eight locations between West 157th Street and West 64th Streets. Are these sculptures he carved out of seven kinds of marble? Broadway, now that is your exhibit space. How is that? It's magnificent. It's, it's just magical. It's a perfect location and, and, and that it's truly in the public. The exhibit is called Broadway Blooms. It's just lovely to look at. It's a good thing. It's new. I love public art. Yeah, New York should have more of it. This sculpture in front of Lincoln Center was inspired by the flower-filled final moments of a performance. The gesture of throwing the bouquet onto the stage, you know, and just seeing that moment where it lays out, you know, and it just sits there and it's this, you know, it's, it's such a beautiful gesture. This one outside the 72nd Street subway station invites up-close interaction. There are two flowers that intersect and you can sit either side of them. So there's this sort of, hopefully, this wonderful gesture where you can actually sit amongst the flower forms and maybe have a dialogue with another person. Getting this sculpture show together was tough. The pandemic delayed shipment and installation by more than a year. It just kind of held everything up. While he lives here, his pieces are made in Italy, so it just uh, really laid bare for us the challenges of mounting these kinds of programs. The Broadway Mall Association sponsors the exhibit, which is the group's 13th public art show. We're so thrilled that they're finally here. It was worth the wait. These eight gifts to NYC are designed to be tough and lasting, just like the city they are in. On the Upper West Side, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Gorgeous, right? Yeah, the texture and the I design. Know. i got to go check it out. Hopefully they're animal resistant. <laughs> oh. Just saying, right? Yeah, good point. There's that.